Hey, how's it going? Welcome to Rapid Fire Reaper Tutorials. All the info, none of the fluff, so let's get to it. So in the past few episodes, we talked a little bit about the basics of MIDI. From today, I'm going to start answering some of the questions that I got on Reaper's MIDI editing capabilities. Something that I saw people ask a lot, and two examples of that are on the screen right now, is any operation where you want to kind of look at just a few notes that you have selected, or you may want to search for and select specific notes, like selecting just the loudest notes, or selecting just every D. So basically, all these type of questions can be solved through one window and that's the filter window now by default you can press f to bring the filter events window and then from this window you can do all kinds of things for example if you want to see just some of your notes and not all of them so you want your uh, velocity window to be less cluttered one way is what i showed you yesterday where you use this command select note and all later notes of same pitch as a mouse modifier and select all of these and then here you can say set filter from selection and then go show only events that pass filter and now we are only seeing those events that were in the selection and all the other notes are still being heard but we're just seeing these so you can still hear my snares everything but we're just seeing the kicks so if you don't want to select it or if your selection operations are more uh, kind of complicated this is what you can do let's say we want to select all our kick drums right so i can go to note and then for the note value kick drums are always at c1 which is number 36 and i can go set selection in one of the questions i showed you for example a user wanted to select all the ones that have velocity more than 121 so i can go velocity low 121 high 127 and then go set selection only those will be added so this this menu still only selects your notes. Once I select this, I can do a number of things. I can stretch them if I want, or I can simply come here and bring it manually down to 120 and it will affect all of them. Or Archie set selected notes velocity to 120 and you can bind this to a hotkey or put it in a toolbar or whatever you got. And you're off to the races. Position and measure is also really useful, again, for the same reason. Say I want all my kicks that occur on the one to be a little bit louder than the rest. So I can just select select everything from nothing from the beginning happening on the first 16th on every measure I want to be selected so I hit that and all of these will be selected and once again I can make those louder if I want or I can use my hotkey or whatever. So this also has other things you can search for. So for example, I can go to CC change, I can go to mod wheel MSB, and I want to select some values. So let's say I want to select everything over 120 one more time. So 120, 127, you actually don't need to say hi either. I think it'll still work, so let's check it out. Yeah, and it's selecting all the ones that are at that value. So then from there, I can turn them down manually or whatever I wanna do. And I don't need to close this window, so you can pin this window. I'll show you one last example example let's say i want to select all my hi-hats well hi-hats are usually on three keys so they're on the f sharp g sharp and a sharp so what i can do is again go note and then here i can for example say low f sharp one and then high make it 46 which is a sharp one but the toms between these which go on g and a will also be selected so instead of that first select all the notes then you change this find all the open ones and then go add to selection and now all of those are added to your selection or you want to select for example every event in the second half of every measure you can just go set selection and now i have selected the second half of all my measures every event every note everything and i don't know i can close this and i can delete them or something ah! thanks for watching if you have any more questions please drop them in the comments and have a great weekend i'll see you on monday Bye bye